Hi, afternoon everyone. So I'm trying to finish up getting the new vacuum pump put in play, that new backer pump. Um, I got the old one out, that's sitting on the floor um, in the sugar house, but the new one's up in position. I kind of got ahead of myself, forgot the camera. Um, so I've got some of it done, but not all of it, but it's gonna sit up there in the four-wheeler shed where the other one did. And of course this one takes up a lot less space. <laughs> So I got it in place, um, power from the outlet down to the VFD is set up. Um, I've got some plumbing left to do, but I marred some threads. So that's at the fab shop right now, so running a tap down through that. Um, but now I'm gonna get the transducer hooked back up and then mess with some power. I'm gonna try and fire this thing up today. So we'll see how it goes. All right, that's hooked up. Now I've got to go and disconnect the old temperature sensor because this one now with the VFD, it's not going to like the temperature sensor that I was using. So I'm going to use a different type, but I'll get to that in a minute. Temperature sensor is disconnected. Um, those are just hooked up for right now. I'm going to go make sure the pump is off, which I'm not sure it is, but I just want to make sure before I flip the breaker. All right, and we got power at the VFD. So that's showing power. It's in auto. That's deadheaded up there. Let's see what happens. is making just under 29 inches of vacuum deadheaded right now. There, that's running. Now the next piece of it. So I'll shut this off. So I don't need it on right now. But I got another piece that I'm gonna throw into it. So what I've got is I've got a 110 solenoid valve and then somewhere here in, I don't know what to do with it. I think it's in the sugar house. I've got a temperature controller that I'm gonna put on here. So. Basically what's gonna happen is the temperature controller now is gonna just close the solenoid valve and cut the vacuum to the woods. Um, and this is really just for that early season sap that I go after because I, I don't wanna freeze up at night and end up with a releaser full of sap. And I've had that happen. So this prevents it because early season, I just have it cut out at like 30 degrees, 28 degrees, something like that. It allows the releaser to drain, don't end up with a block of ice. So early season sap, that's what this is for. But now I gotta I got go find the controller. I've got my temperature sensor. So all I did was buy just a cheap plug-in one here. So this will plug into here, and this just plugs into an outlet. Is it gonna go in? Yeah. And that goes into an outlet. So it just closed up there. So mode. I gotta read the directions. So right now this thing's in Celsius, so that's like Chinese to me. All right, let's see here. All right, I think I got this thing figured out. So right now it's in cooling mode. It's gonna come on at 30 degrees and shut off at 29 and a half. 
All right, I think I've got everything that I need to finish plumbing up this new Becker pump. Um, I got me a sap bucket full of goodies here, and I gotta go back and get another armload of stuff, but I think I'm gonna be able to get it plumbed up, and then all that'll be left is hooking the releaser up when that's time, but let's see. Now the other day I ran into a little bit of trouble. I had the Street 90 I was using, stainless going into aluminum, and when it started, I got like two turns and then it locked up and I went, I'm not going anymore. So I tried pulling it back and it just tore the hell out of the thread. So I'm not quite sure what was going on. Went down to the fab shop, ran a tap down through it um, and got it cleaned up so it'll work now. But I'm going to switch and run what is it? somewhere. There. I'm just going to run plastic in this now because then I won't have the trouble with it tearing the hell out of it because I'm not playing that game again so I'm gonna kind of put everything together the way I think it's gonna go and then I can put this thing together so we'll see come out of the pump 90 into the filter 90 into a check valve a union and then 90 into the main line I just went down to close the valve down at the releaser so that I could fire the pump up. It's coming back up and thinking and I'm like, oh crap. I forgot to add that valve in to be able to shut this thing down. Luckily I can just unhook it and I can cut it, but damn. Got that valve in place now. Let's flip the breaker and fire the pump up. That was a lot of bang, but I think I know what it was. I had duct tape over the exhaust and it just blew that off. Try it. Vacuum's building. Start to idle down. It's at 26, 27, 28 inches right now. We're gonna check the trigger house. See what that is. There goes that. All right. What do we got in here on this gauge? Sitting at 28 inches and climbing right now on this one. This runs out um, and takes it right off the pump. So 28 and a half right now. You can barely hear the pump too compared to the old one was loud, so neighbors will be happy now. Well, most of them. Yep, 
yeah and it's almost at 29 inches now so that is perfect it's just just idling that's what i'm looking for Let's see if it holds it too but there another project for the check mark so i can move on to the next one so a little technical information on this pump. Um, it is an upgrade from my old gas pump. That was a dry vein pump. It started pulling like 23 inches when I first got it and it was down to like 20 last year. So making good vacuum for $300 that I had into it. I bought that off of eBay and it was 300 bucks delivered. So I've used it for nine years now, I think. And it, a couple little issues with it, but those were kind of self-inflicted. Um, but this new one, this is a Becker. Um, it's a 5.16, it's the XL. So it's gonna run 11.2 CFMs and it's not even a, a horsepower, it's a 0.89 horse pump. So going down in power consumption because it's got the VFD, so this thing's gonna idle down and run at really minimal consumption of power for my 170 taps that are here. So really this thing's good for like you know, a thousand taps, somewhere in that neighborhood if you're using one CFM per hundred. But for me, it was a, a marginal increase in price to go up to um, the 5.16 XL. So get it bigger now for a few hundred dollars rather than having to buy a bigger pump later if I ever need it. But um, yeah, so this pump is uh, ready to go now, but. The Becker pumps, they're, they suck. I think it's gonna turn the trees inside out, but I'm not sure.